Thursday marks exactly 26 years since the disaster at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in the former Soviet Union. A memorial was held in Ukraine for the victims. People gathered in the town of Slavutic early Thursday for the memorial ceremony. The town is located about 50 kilometers from the Chernobyl plant. People mourned the victims by offering candles and flowers at a monument. A reactor at the Chernobyl plant exploded during an experimental operation on April the 26th, 1986. The blast released a massive amount of radioactive substances. More than 130,000 people living within a 30-kilometer radius of the plant were forced to evacuate. Around 30 plant workers and firefighters died of acute radiation sickness. The radiation is still affecting the environment and posing health threats to residents in Ukraine, Belarus and Russia. Last week, Japan concluded a treaty with Ukraine to share information on post-nuclear disaster measures following the Fukushima nuclear accident. And Japan is also in talks with Belarus on a similar arrangement. Keep working on it, Japan. The European Union will defer announcing stress test results for nuclear plants in the region until autumn this year. Last year's nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant prompted the EU to conduct safety checks of all nuclear plants within the EU region. So far, they've inspected only 38 of 147 reactors. The EU was aiming to release the final results by June and make concrete recommendations at a summit. But on Thursday, it said it will postpone until autumn. EU Energy Commissioner Günther Oettinger said conducting thorough stress tests is more important than the timing of the results. These nuclear power plants, no matter how many fail safe and, and how many, how carefully they build these things and how, how much accident prevention measures they use, sooner or later some unforeseen thing is going to happen and there's going to be a disaster. People living near the Oe power plant in central Japan are wrestling with whether to sign off on a plan to fire up two of the facility's four nuclear reactors. They're balancing concerns about safety, the economy, and the energy supply. Some of them brought those concerns and questions to a public meeting. The Oe reactors are the first units approved for restart in the year since an earthquake and tsunami triggered an accident at Fukushima Daiichi. Some 550 people attended the meeting Thursday. The gathering was open to local residents only. Activists opposed to the resumption of the reactors held a rally outside the venue. A central government official explained that experts have confirmed technology is in place to keep the OE reactors cool, even in the event of a disaster like the one that hit Fukushima Daiichi. Residents also gave their views. I think Japan will not recover without the resumption of the OE plant. If the government will seriously think about protecting people's lives, I'm in favor of turning the reactors back on. Some participants expressed concerns there is no quake-resistant office building at the OE plant that would serve as the crisis center should an accident happen. The unimaginable could happen. A quake-resistant building is necessary in case the worst takes place. When it comes to restarting the reactors, the economy and safety should definitely be considered separately. Other residents question whether restarting the reactors is even necessary. Is the electricity demand in the Kansai region as high as the government forecasts? A recent NHK poll suggests 54% of OE residents are in favor or slightly in favor of restarting the reactors for economic reasons. But 71% of people surveyed voiced concerns about the risk of an accident if the units go back online. Let's take another look at that. 
Right here, you can see the brain scrambler Vic claim another victim. Right. The mayor of Oi says the town council will decide whether to approve restarting the reactors after hearing what residents have to say. I, no one would believe me. It would be so obvious that I'm lying. Yeah. Also, I've been damaged by the police. 